Affluence Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As Beer Swirls. Grill edition? On location. Yeah, sure. sure. Damn, where are we? What are we drinking? What's going on? Uh, as I alluded to, as the big old reef of greenness here, uh, we are in, and here's the alarm, just like always. Uh, we're at Grow Brewing, and they finally decided to open up a, a brick and mortar location in New Hartford, New York. They moved out of that periwinkle blue caravan and said, this place ain't going anywhere. Basically, they moved out of the rent house. They did. Now they got their first apartment, and we'll see how it goes. And we're living on allowance. So, living on beer sales. We'll see how this goes, because we haven't done on location too much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The audio could be jacked for that, I apologize. But anyways, so so what do we got? What are we drinking? Tap room first? exclusive. So recently, they had their barrel-aged uh, barley wine. It was called yes. Dormancy. Oh. Uh, so tap room exclusive. I still have bottles of that in the Two new barley wines. So one is uh, aged in peach brandy barrels, and the other in cherry brandy barrels. And we've let these warm a little bit, and Mike thinks he knows which one is which. I lost track, because we shuffled them around. So it'll be a fun thing. So here we go, let's, uh, let's dive into the first one here. All right, so I'll tell you what, you do the nose on that one, okay. I'll do it, and then we'll switch. All right, sounds good. Because we're idiots and then I get two cups. Oh wait, there's little cups over there. We could just pour it. In it's over. Sick. It's too late for that now. Oh, no, we don't I'm know what we're doing. Grab. Anyway, we'll all right, I'm going to get a whiff on this thing. Oh, my gosh. All right, so this is definitely peach. Oh, there's a wonderful boozy barrel aspect to it with just some fresh peaches like they've been canned in Grandma's cellar for a while, maybe jarred. Here, pour some in there. And I don't want to. You're gonna share. I'll, I'll, you're gonna share. We'll see. Oh my gosh. All right. Get nose on that thing. There you go. I'll do this on the left, this on the right. There we go. All right. I just gave my description. It, it's fantastic. <laughs> Anything goes when you're live. All right. Well. Yo. Yeah, just, <laughs> right. dude, it's got that deep, just caramel, just toffee, kind of sweet baker's yep. goodness in it. Just like you said. There is that slight, like, stone fruit thing going on. Sure, sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's not too apparent. Peach. Like, Mike's there's like, peach pit in there. Like, Mike's like, I can smell the difference, but, like, to be honest, like, I don't know if my schnoz is broken, but I can't get too much peach in it. Okay, really. I'm getting great peach. So, want to dive in? Yeah, All right. sure. Cheers. All right, so you think this is the peach? Absolutely. All, right. All day long. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. That is so soft and smooth. It is satiny. It is velvet. It just kind of floats and glides on the tongue. Um, all those notes I was getting in the nose, the nice peach. Yeah. Now I'm getting some like dark rich cocoa. Uh, there's a little bit of toffee in there. That barrel characteristic yeah. is popping out. It's insanely balanced while being kind of busy. It's a true representation of a uh, English barley wine. Oh yeah, absolutely. Which we uh, tend to prefer. You want to dive into the other one? Yes. All right. We're, we're, we're filming in 4K today. It could overheat. I don't know. Can't see me swirling all over the table here. <laughs> Dude, this is wild. Just being on location. It has screwed my whole day up. Like, just in the best wise, way possible. You know what I mean? Okay. There is a fresh bag of cherries just picked up from Wegmans there. Coupled on that really nice... Uh, Barrel character. Like natural cherry, right? Yeah, natural cherry. Yeah. Do you want to try? Little. Here, here's the peach one. Delicate spices over here. Yeah, making She's in sure the we don't lose our minds. <laughs> uh, this is this is a more subtle aroma, I think, than yeah. the peach one was. So. Ready to dive in? Yeah. All right, cheers. cheers. Wow. Dude, it is so viscous. And just, again, I think the other one is a little bit more, has a little bit more body to it. Maybe this is thinned out. I don't know if that's from the cherry itself or just, you know, the regular cherry. Like, I'm telling you, man, this is like a really high-end, decadent, chocolate-covered cherry. Uh, 
not your end of the aisle at Walmart kind of candies, uh, while still giving you that that barrel aged quality, kind of holding it together. This so, is delicious. So we're looking at a 14.4, or 14.3 ABV, sorry. both of them are 14.3, right? Yeah, yeah. we're kind of off the rails here. But so uh, the original dormancy was aged in Heaven Hill barrels for 24 months with a 12 hour boil. And, um, you know, this is just really good. There's a bit of oak tannin that's really kind of popping yes. through right now. Yes. And it almost, it, it lends itself towards like a bit of a drier, um, Slightly saccharine kind of finish. I get, I definitely get that more out of this one than I do the peach. Yeah. One. Yeah. I mean, it, it's dark as days. I mean, both of them are. Both but of them are if, rich. If you hold up to the brown. light, like really, it comes through as like yeah, like a deep brown kind yeah. of plum character. To yeah. It. Absolutely. What do you think? Did you like it? I had the peach one and it's really good. Okay. Okay. It's super I mean, I really think there's only one thing left to do, Dan. Cuvée. Cuvée. Oh, let, all right, all right. Let try, try this one real quick. You know, speaking of the cherries, I am getting that tart sour aspect now. It's it's settling in. There is a little tart. Like if it. you yeah, didn't know right. it was like natural cherry, you'd be like, did it did it turn a little bit so sweet? You yeah. know what I mean? But it, it's very pleasant. I mean, all in all, this this dormancy series, I love. Yeah, I'm in love with this series so far. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a bit more thin, I think. Yeah, yeah so a little tart, sour. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Cuvée, cuvée. All right, here we go. We've made a mess. Well, I made a mess. <laughs> What did you do? Dude, over I mean, I got if over. You can see the table. It was just, an aggressive swirl. It's puddles of barley wine all over the place. So I think that, at least for me, the cherry has kind of taken over the peach a little bit. Yeah. But it's still all the characteristics are there. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Uh, here's the thing I prefer. I prefer them separate. I prefer separate and I prefer the peach. Man, I, I I think the peach just slightly edges out the cherry one for me. There's like, so with the cherry one, it's I don't know so why, but to me, there's like right on the back end, like there's this kind of like acrid kind of just aspect to it. Okay. And I don't know, it's like the cherry skin, you know what I mean? I like the cherry skin. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if maybe because like what when it was starting to get that tart aspect, I was like, okay, if that tart aspect wasn't there, it might have been a dead. We, listen, dead we, li we live in America. This is true. The land of artificial sweeteners. Tom Cruise Maverick America. I'm a Marciano man. That's that's kind of a cherry guy I am. But anyways, yeah. What, what do you rate these? Um, I'm gonna give the peach one. I'm all on board. I'll give it like a 4.9. I'll give the cherry one like a 4.8. Okay. I mean, I love this series. I love these beers. All right. I will give this the cherry. I'll give it a 4.25. Peach, 4.4. Four. Okay. Original OG. Oh, this OG one is a five all day. The Dominic Hanks. Five all day. Yeah. Uh, all right. This is good stuff. Just stay tuned for more. We're here yeah. live on location. Uh, Grow's opening weekend. Yeah, hit us up if you uh, have been to Grow or had some had stuff. any Grow before. Well, you haven't been here because it's opening day. I think but. someone might be here right now and it's not paying Yeah, because I don't know when this video is coming out. This is true. Probably pretty soon. Yeah. We're out of content. I will. Thanks for watching. Down below. Down below. Link trees. All the stuff. Branch out. Grow. Why not? Uh, I try. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching.